Welcome back to Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews. This week on Unaffordable Optics and Rifle Reviews, <laughs> we are going to be looking at a fully Canadian, fully custom build that you can do yourself. So let's take a look at this briefly. So we got the Apex Rival, a new optic, a 4 to 32 by 56. We have the Ultimatum Precision Deadline Action, an IBI barrel. We have a Trigger Tech Trigger. We have the MDT ACC chassis. We have the Kadex Falcon Light Bipod, the Kadex MX-1 muzzle brake. This rifle screams in quality. It's got everything you can possibly want if you have no budget. <laughs> so when it comes to custom rifles, you really got to have a flexible budget or you, can, you, or you have to be really good at fudging the numbers so your wife has no clue how much money you've put in guns in that safe. So let's start in more detail. Let's start with the optic, actually. So the Apex Rival, the 4 to 32 by 56. So this is a new optic on the market. So the 4 to 32 by 56 has all the bells and whistles that the uh, PRS shooters in Alberta wanted to have. And Apex, they brought that to the table. So they have a really uh, wide magnification range between 4 to 32. And what you might be kind of worried about is a really narrow field of view. Don't worry about that. It's actually quite wide. So it's got 29.9 feet at 4 magnification, and at 32, it's got 3.73. So if you want something to compare to, well, the Vortex Viper PST Gen 2, while I guess different price ranges, has a very wide field of view. And on its lowest, it has 25 feet at its 5 power. And at its 25 power, it has about 25 feet. And that is actually very good. Now this one is 32 magnification and it has 3.73. So this has a super, super wide field of view, which is really nice. Now, other than that, it does have really, really good glass. So it's got premium extra low dispersion ED aprochromatic Japanese glass in this thing. And you can really make out your hits really, really nicely at extreme long distances. While we're only gonna be using this around 980 yards or I guess 900 meters, this thing is very capable for extreme long range. Additionally, it does have 32 mils of internal adjustment, a revolution indicator, a zero stop, illumination. It's got everything you could possibly want for in an optic. Next, let's talk about the, uh, the rifle. Let's get to the rifle, the ultimatum precision deadline action. So you can either get them in the uh, short action, which is this one, or the long action. The short actions are about $1,636 Canadian. It's got a 60 degree bolt throw. This thing is made of 4340 steel. It comes with a 20 MOA rear with six screws to bring it down into that action and two dowel pins to make sure it will absolutely not move even in the apocalypse. It's got a removable uh, three lug floating bolt face on this. So you can actually remove it and switch the bolt face to like a 223, a Magnum or the 308 bolt face, which it has on here. But this rifle is a 6.5 Creedmoor. And it accepts Savage Prefit small shank barrels, which is exactly what we have on this. Also, I guess the price difference, if you want to, let's say, rebuild this gun later, it's only $200 to switch the bolt face, which is really nice. Also, the action on this rifle, I mean, this thing is ridiculously smooth. I mean, I have some pretty expensive rifles and I, I do not have one that comes close to how smooth this is. And the tolerances in here are just like, they are tight. And I mean, this thing is really smooth and really nice. It's amazing to see even improvements after trying Tikas that this is what they can actually do when you have fully custom builds. It also does have a integrated recoil lug right into the, the action itself. And it does take AICS magazines. Next, let's talk about the barrel. So you can actually get this barreled action with this barrel, this IBI barrel, as a package. And if you get them as the package from Ultimatum Precision, it's $2,136 Canadian. So it comes with a 24 inch barrel. This one here is 6.5 Creedmoor. It has 5R rifling. It's a 1 and 8 inch twist. And it really, really loves the 140 grain ELDMs. And it is 416R stainless steel. And this is a match grade barrel. And these are some of the groups that we accomplished with the rifle. here at about 800, 9, 850, 900 meters. It is crazy windy today. Like I'm actually holding about three and a half mils off to the right. 
it is really really gusty but we're still gonna be able to hit our targets let's get started where are my ear protection now we're actually pretty lucky because it was really snowing and really cold last week and uh yeah it was kind of unbearable we're lucky today it's like plus six or seven but it's windy as hell so you cannot have it all there she goes let's see if we can get on target I'm not saying you can't do the same thing with a factory rifle. I'm saying it's going to be a lot easier with a custom rifle where everything has been really gone over by a gunsmith. I think we had a little low that time. Next we have the Kdex MX-1 muzzle brake. Now it's not on the rifle just because I had to use it on a different project and it's going to go back on here. And this does a really nice job at, I mean it reduces recoil yes, but that's not the point on a 6.5. The point is to reduce muzzle jump for us. So when I want to be able to spot my own hits at a thousand yards, this helps you get the job done. And that retails around $200. Next, we have the triggers. Wow, the Trigger Tech Diamond, it really is a diamond. It goes all the way down from four ounces to 32 ounces. So this goes from ridiculously light to like featherweight to a good solid 32 ounces. Personally, I like one and a half pounds just because you can put your finger on the trigger, like get ready and apply a little weight. And when you're ready, it breaks. Whereas four ounces, I haven't been able to get used to it. Other people do, more bench rest shooters do, but personally, it's just too light for me. So I set it a little higher. And there is absolutely no creep. You can get it with a flat bladed trigger or a curved bladed trigger. And that retails for $275 US. Next, we have the chassis. This is the MDT, Modular Driven Technologies, ACC chassis. So the Adjustable Core Competition chassis. This is everything you can possibly want for. This is their flagship chassis. So uh, it has arc rail on the bottom. It's got M locks all over the place. It even has these two screw spots for a saddle if you wanted to put two extra rounds. I've seen some people use that in competitions, but personally, I don't do competitions, so I have no saddle. Also, this chassis can accept up to a 1.3 inch barrel, so a super fat barrel, which once I cook this barrel, I am 100% getting the fattest barrel I can fit on this action that I can fit in this chassis. <laughs> this is going to be one heavy gun. Now, let's take a look at the back of this chassis. We have a fully adjustable, uh, like all the adjustments you could possibly want. The one you're noticing right now is probably the adjustable butt pad, which goes up and down, which makes you more in line with the barrel, which is supposed to help a little bit. It is a little bit more comfortable this way when I have it like that. It is also adjustable with these screws, so if you just turn this here after loosening this nut and this nut you can lengthen your length of pull simply by turning this and then once you're at the right spot you tighten these screws and it is locked in place same thing goes for the adjustable comb height so it's you simply loosen these you turn this and it'll go down or you can bring it up now i really like this method because once you put your cheek on it you can turn it it'll lift your cheek and then you'll realize oh okay, that's the perfect spot to get in line with the optic. So I really, really did like that. Also, you can put the bag rider that just basically bolts into the M-lock on the bottom here. It will come with a vertical grip, which is also very comfortable and very beefy. So it does take the AICS magazines and a nice touch, which I mean, I feel like a lot of companies don't necessarily do, is the mag release. So this one is the perfect distance for my index to get to. And even if my hand was a little smaller, I'd still be able to get there. As you can see, I can still, I can even reach the magazine with my fingers, which makes it easy for me to drop the magazine and do quick reloads if I need to. Not, a, not that I compete, so I guess it's not as important for me as it is for PRS shooters. 
so the chassis is $1,189 Canadian. Next, we have the bipod. This is the Kadex Falcon Light bipod. This is a really nice bipod that Kadex has. Uh, this has pan, it also has tilt. It is adjustable in length and quickly adjustable. And you simply push these buttons to retract them. You can also change the angle however you want it. And they are very, very solid. Also, I recommend getting the spikes for it. Uh, which just make it so much nicer if let's say you're shooting off a wooden bench You can just preload that bipod and it really just grabs in that wood and it's just much much nicer So that one retails for about six hundred and fifty dollars plus the spikes are about a hundred dollars So all in all we are looking at about six thousand So all in all we are looking at about six thousand three hundred and fifty one dollars Canadian So if you don't have a budget you want something real nice and something that shoots really well well, maybe check, take a look at this custom build and do something similar. So we are planning on doing a series on some fully Canadian, fully custom builds that I want to show you guys. Because, I mean, we have some talent in Canada. We have some really good manufacturers in Canada that, you know, I had to do some digging to find. I mean, these ones are probably one of the most popular ones, but there are other companies out there that you probably haven't heard of that make some really, really top quality, top shelf stuff. So anyways, if you guys like this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We're going to have some more Canadian content coming for you soon. So thanks for watching Affordable Optics and Rifle Reviews.